Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. This is the Filmomat rotary film processor that was kindly sent to me by the guys at Filmomat over in Germany. And I've been using this for a few weeks, my color film and also my black and white film as well. So what is it and what does it do? Well, rotary film processors are nothing new. There's loads out there on the market to choose from. And they're generally used for controlling color film development in particular temperature and also inversions as well and as well as color film I've also been using it for my black and white films just for the rotary inversion side of things which has been saving me time it's also been saving me developer and because it runs on its own I can just let it do its thing which gives me more time to do other things such as cutting the grass playing fetch with Jaws the blind shih tzu And also reading my latest book that was kindly sent to me by Mitchell Walker. Mitch, if you're watching, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I love the book. So if you're already shooting and developing colour film at home, no doubt you've already got one of these machines. Or maybe you're using the kitchen sink to develop the colour film like I was. I would fill up the bowl at the right temperature, put all my chemicals in there, try and keep them at the same temperature all the way through the development and also dumping the tank back in the bowl when I was uh, in between inversions. And that was okay, I, was sometimes, I wasn't getting consistent results. Sometimes my color films would shift a little tiny bit because my temperatures would drop, but I'm just having fun. I'm nothing serious for me with color film. So I was happy doing that until this machine landed on my lap. And then the last few weeks I've been developing color film using this machine and I've been getting really nice consistent results since. And it's real simple to use. All you've got to do is fill the whole thing up with water, just enough to cover these reels here where your tank sits. So your tank is slightly immersed in the, in the water, keeping that in the film at the right temperature. Turn the heater on till it comes to temperature. All your chemicals are sitting inside here, keeping them at the right temperature. So everything is at the right temp for you to develop your color films. And once you've done that, you've got this little tiny motor at the top here. This is what uh, inverts your tank. It's very simple to use, on off button, one, two, turn it, press it once off, press it once on, and also rotation as well. The rotation is for the speed of the inversions or the RPM or revolutions per minute. Um, so once you've set that for your tank and your film, you're off to go. For my color films, I use Cine Steel C41 kit. That's all I've ever used. So there's about three and a half minutes development time and about eight minutes on the, on the bleach and fix or the Blix. Um, so I've been using that, so when I put my tank inside here, like so, off it goes and leave it for three and a half minutes to do its thing, go off and do something. When my timer goes off, I come back, take it out, I empty the developer, put the Blix in and do the same thing again for eight minutes, press the button and it does its thing for eight minutes. And I've been getting nice consistent results uh, with my colour film since. And for me, black and white films as well, I've been using it for that. So I've been changing the way that I've been developing black and white films using this device. Now for black and white, I don't need to really keep all the temperatures the same. So I, I do away with all the water. So I just use the empty tank. The only part I'm using is this here. So uh, put my developer in for black and white, set it for however long I want it to run and let it do its thing. If uh, They usually say take about 10 or 15% off if you're using a rotary device for your black and white films off your development times. So say for example, I'm shooting, I don't know, FP4 and it's 10 minutes. I've been doing it for seven and a half or eight minutes um, and then change the developer out for the fix, do the same thing with the fix. And I've been getting consistent results. Most important thing is that I write my results down of the film and the developer that I've used. So I must admit, I had to speak to the guys over at Filmomat because I've never done any rotary processing on any black and white films before. And uh, they said to me, you don't even need to use as much developer. Just use a couple of hundred milliliters of developer um, and let the tank do its thing. And I was a little bit, really? I said, yeah, yeah, it's fine. You'll save developer and you'll save time as well. I was like, okay. Uh, so basically, when I, normally on a 120 film, I'll put about 500 or 550, maybe 600 of developer into this tank and do my normal thing. So if it's one part to one part, I'm using 250 mil of developer, 250 mil of water, say. Um, but because this is on its side, I only need enough to cover the bottom of the reel or the spiral inside, so it's touching the film. So say 200 milliliters. So I've been using 100 milliliters of developer and 100 milliliters of water from the one part to one part and getting nice, consistent, even results all the way through. So it's saving me already 
on developer. And that's not this machine. There's plenty of rotary machines out there for black and white films. This is predominantly for, for color films, but I can use it for my black and white as well. And some people might be saying, yeah, but what about the contrast? What about the accutance or sharpness of continuously rotating the tank? I haven't seen any difference in sharpness, to be honest with you. I've been using D23 developer at the moment. Uh, maybe that will change if I decide to use another developer. But with the D23 I've been using, I've, I've seen no difference in any density on my films or accutance or sharpness on my prints. Obviously, the longer I develop, the more dense my negatives are going to be. So it's up to me to be fine tuning my films and the developer, writing my notes down. So when I do come to shoot and develop that particular film with that developer, I'll get consistent results. Uh, with this all the time as opposed to doing this. Not only that, I can leave it there for say eight minutes, press the button, go off and do other things. Uh, when my timer comes, I'll just come up, do the same thing again, wash the film, put the fixer in and let that run for another five minutes or so. So I'm not sitting there doing this all the time. I've actually been enjoying that way of developing. I wouldn't say it's lazy, but um, I've just been getting nice consistent results. But like I say, there's loads of these processors online. There's lots of different varieties of uh, rotary processors for black and white film. Oh, you could even make them yourself. They're not that hard to do. I've been trying to use a big track for years, but I just can't seem to get it to work. <laughs> And you can also add another motor to it as well. So you can buy another motor and put it on the rail so you can develop two tanks at the same time. I use these Patterson tanks and they do give you these little tiny adapters here for the Patterson tanks to sit on these rollers. Um, but this is quite, these are my tanks are quite old. They're not the new ones. So they don't, I don't think they work, but I can't get them to work properly with that. But it's no big deal. I've just been putting it there anyway and letting it do its thing and it's been good enough for me. And you can see this is the motor here, it's quite simple to use, only one button, so there's nothing complicated. You press it once to turn it on, and you press it again to turn it off, and you can also adjust the speed of the motor as well by turning it left or right. That's slow, it's for slow inversions, and all the way for faster inversions. Hey, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. I use it on 50 for my tank, as recommended for a 100 millimeter size tank. My only gripe is these float around a little tiny bit in, in the water. Maybe these are only light plastic. Maybe I should use glass bottle ones to keep my temperatures, to keep my chemicals at the right temp. So if I'm running two rolls of film, I've got one tank sitting on the side ready to go in after this one's developed. Obviously these aren't full up with developer because they're all really inside this tank. So when I put them back in there to keep the right temperature, um, they're floating around. Uh, so maybe I need to get some heavier glass bottles uh, just to keep them inside. Or maybe, I don't know, Film Mac could come out with some sort of contraption where it keeps those these light plastic bottles uh, nice and snug during development when you've only when they're only half full you know but other than that I think it's, it's fantastic I'm looking forward to using this more on color film I'm looking forward to seeing what results I'll be getting in the future with uh, black and white films with the rotary process uh, like I say you don't need this for black and white for for black and white films um, I don't know if film I'm at have got some sort of design like that in the future but uh, this machine is predominantly for color film it's a bonus for me because I can use it for my black and whites as well so if you're interested in one of these machines guys um, I'm in no way affiliated with Filmomat. I'm not earning anything out of this myself. Literally, you know, if people want to send me products to show on the channel and it's all to do with film photography, I'll show it for you guys to see whether you're interested in it or not. That's down to you. Some people are, some people ain't. Um, but Filmomat are giving a 10% discount if you use the code that I put in the description. So if you are interested in one of these, you want to buy one from Filmomat, jump on the link in the description and put in the code that I put uh, right down in, in the description of this video so you can get your 10% off. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, jump on there if you're interested in this. I'll put the links in the description and you'll see a lot more of me using this on the channel for my black and white films.